Hey, my name's Shauna. I'm the principal designer of Shauna Walton Design. We are currently at my client's house in the Little Man's Nursery in downtown Toronto. The jumping off point for this nursery was the wallpaper. It's super cute and playful, feels like scribbles. Although it's black and white, we still went with it. Um, and then we infused color in different areas of the room. So in the bed sheet, the mobile, the heads on the wall, the side table, and even in the Romans. I absolutely love this Jenny Lind crib. It's available in so many different colors. They have green, pink, gray, white, and black. Uh, what I also love about the crib is it can be easily converted into a toddler bed. So you just take off uh, the front and you add a conversion piece and all of a sudden you have a nice little bed for your child to transition into a bed. So this room is a really awkward shape. So we had two choices. One was to go with a custom rug and cut it specific to the dimensions of the room, but instead we opted to go with a layered look. This helped elongate the space. I could layer them as I wish, and I think it adds some really nice depth, coziness to the room. This dresser we purchased was great because it acts as a nice dresser slash change table for the baby, but as he grows up, there is no doubt that this can work all the way up until he leaves for university. If you're a new mom and you're starting to think about how you're gonna design your nursery, here are some of my tips. One, always go with a round table next to your rocker. It's super convenient to be able to put your books and your water glass, your bottle, all of the things that you need close by. I always choose a round table so that as your child grows and he's knocking into things, there's no sharp objects. Another tip to go off of is don't feel like you always need to go with matching sets. It's really nice to just choose a crib that you like and then go and find a dresser. It doesn't have to come from a baby store. It doesn't have to be specifically designed for a nursery. What's important is the height of the dresser so that when you stand at it and you're changing your baby 18 million times a day, you're not leaning over or trying to reach up to get to that baby. Don't choose items specific to the purpose. So one thing I like to do is I find super cute baskets. They can be picked up anywhere. HomeSense has like a million options, for example. Put your diapers in there. That way you have something cute that's always left out on your dresser versus an ugly diaper caddy. Another tip that I have is to buy a rocker, glider, or even a chair that is comfortable. So make sure you go to the store, sit in it, put your legs up, rock back and forth. Imagine falling asleep in this chair you know, five to seven nights a week. One thing to keep in mind, if you plan on putting a piece of artwork or mirror over top of your crib or dresser, make sure that it's secured. Go to your hardware store, talk to someone, hire a professional, and just make sure that it's secured at the bottom and top. Because as your baby grows, he is going to be yanking on everything that is in arm's reach. It's so nice to see everyone in this space together. Hattie's playing on the poof, the dog's rolling around on the rug, and mom and dad get to share the chair.